Well, welcome back everybody, I'm Mike from Tactical Considerations on behalf of the Armory Life and today I'm going to bring you something in the way of another holster. So there are some people out there that absolutely love that leather stuff and there's a couple reasons for that. Leather is very comfortable, leather conforms to your body very well, but there are a couple things you need to look out for if you are going to be carrying a straight leather or a hybrid holster. Now the holster we're going to focus on today is this guy right here. So that is the Hidden Hybrid, which is set up for my Springfield Hellcat OSP with that Swamp Fox Sentinel on it. Now this Hidden Hybrid has a couple of different options than some other regular either leather or other hybrid style holsters that are out there on the market today. And a couple of those right up front are going to be the fact that it has a concealment claw and it is optic ready. Being that everybody seems to be moving into the optic world, that is definitely something you need to take into account. Even if you don't have an optic right now, you may want to grow into one in the future. We're going to go ahead and take a really good look at this thing up close so you can get an idea of the detail, the quality of the parts that are in here, and of course that manufacturing and that leather. And we'll give some specifics on the materials that they are using. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and turn those bell notification icons on. We're going to go ahead and get into this holster right now. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this hidden hybrid holster here for that Hellcat OSP, which I'll leave right there so you can stare at it because I love that little thing. So the hidden hybrid holster, let's start off with what it's made out of. So this holster is made out of either nine or 10 ounce Amish leather. It is then suede backed, which is bonded and sewn. So that's why you see that stitching all the way around that leather. So you're merging that ultimate comfort with that suede back in there with that ultra durable Kydex in the front. So Kydex is what a lot of us carry all the time out there. It's extremely durable, stain resistant. It forms to the pistol or whatever you are carrying very nicely, as you can see. Great lines in there. And of course, this one is the optic ready version of this holster. So we know Kydex is good stuff. Let's talk a little bit more about the other stuff going in here. You've got a couple of different options. You can get these with a single clip like I have or with multiple clips. All of the hardware being used in here is coated to avoid, you know, any uh, rust, all that good stuff that's going on. You do have the concealment claw in here for when you're carrying appendix or anywhere inside the waistband. This is going to help keep that grip a little bit more concealed when you're out there wearing a little bit tighter clothing. On the back side, you can see you have those galvanized retainers, so that's going to resist any uh, rust or anything like that. Should you be a sweat monster out there or you live in a state like Arizona or somewhere in the south where it's extremely humid. Talking about the design of the Kydex here, you're going to notice it has a little bit deeper of a sight channel than some holsters out there. And that is so you can have taller sights and still have plenty of room to holster. Now the bottom you can see is nicely rounded off so it's not going to snag when you put this um, inside the waistband or however you choose to carry it. And then the top side here is left a little bit more open around here. And that's to give you a really good area, kind of that wide mouth design so you can reholster that without issue. Now what you'll see here, they did put a nice logo right here, which is mostly hidden while you are carrying. So it doesn't have big logos anywhere because I'm just not a fan of logos. Other than that, let's go ahead and talk about the one thing you'd want to pay attention to, which is leather has a lifespan. You need to make sure that your leather is always going to be in good serviceable condition. You'll also see back here, you've got the leather where you need it and you don't have it where you don't. And this is going to give you full and easy access to that grip. Well, let's go ahead and talk about a couple things you want to pay attention to on hybrid holsters or leather holsters in general and finish this up. As you can see, that is a very nice holster from the leather to the stitching to the concealment claw. They've just paid attention to every detail, rounding off that leather very nicely, cleaning it up. Not every holster company pays that much attention to detail. When it comes to wearing a leather or a hybrid holster, there are a couple things you need to pay attention to. Anything like this is gonna last a very long time, but you always need to inspect your gear, even if it's Kydax or a hard holster or a duty style holster. And one of the things you need to pay attention to on leather gear or any holster for that matter is around your trigger guard. Now all gear has a lifespan to it, but I'm sure everybody has seen a picture out there where the leather at this point has become so worn and kind of loose and supple that it can push its way into the trigger guard. That comes down to knowing your equipment and making sure your equipment is always in serviceable order. Now the way that this holster is designed specifically right here, you'd see that even if it was deformed, 
as you slide this in, it would bypass that leather out of the way of the trigger. Now that doesn't mean use an old worn out raggedy holster. Remember, gear has a lifespan and it's up to you and me to inspect our gear and make sure it's serviceable every time. That's like when you're taking these things out to the range, you need to service and clean them eventually to make sure they're still functional. I hope you all enjoyed the video and learning about this hybrid holster from the good people over at Hidden Hybrid. They make everything from these hybrid holsters to belts and a few other nice leather items if you're into that sweet, sweet leather that I know some of you are. You guys get out there and have some fun on the range. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Turn the bell notification icons on. Leave us a comment down below on what you think about hybrid holsters or if you are into one. And I will see you guys on the next one.